What is happening, YouTube? It's Rob, aka Sub, and Sub is actually my gamer tag on the PS3, so don't get it confused with my other gamer tag on the Xbox 360, which is valid. And um, I'm here to bring you some uh, team deathmatch gameplay of Black Ops on Havana. And uh, I recently put out a video on Havana uh, with some music I wrote, and that video was actually supposed to go up after this one. Uh, this is footage taken two days before the game even was released. I got it early, thanks to my good friend Sean Mealy. And um, my first reaction to the game were were pretty bad because on the PS3 is completely different from the 360. I got the 360 game a week after it came, well, yesterday. And uh, after playing it on the PS3 for like a whole week and then coming and getting it, well, has the game, well, I've had it three days before. So yeah, I've been playing it for about a week. Uh, and coming to the 360, it was night and day. You know, Modern Warfare 2 wasn't really not as noticeable. Like, I can go on the, the PS3 and play it, and it'd be just like playing it on the 360. But the whole presentation, the graphics, everything is uh, more superior on the Xbox 360. And I'm not trying to get flamed or anything. I have both consoles. I enjoy them both exactly the same. But I enjoy the experience on the Xbox 360 a hundred times better. Like, after starting to play it on the PS3, I... I it, it left a really bad taste in my mouth like it was it was not fun to me the frame rate seemed really bad even though the game was running fine like every game I was having frame rate issues due to the lag of the online multiplayer and I thought it was gonna be like that on the 360 I popped the disc in on the 360 started it up and I was in awe on how smooth and crisp it ran and um, just the way the textures looked, uh, the graphics were, they popped, you know, they really showed that, you know, they took time on this engine and made it, made it, I don't, I'm not going to say more superior to, to Modern Warfare 2, but it, it looks really good. So um, it looks a lot better than it does on the PS3, I'll tell you that. Like PS3 kind of looks like bland and blotchy, whereas on the 360 it looks, it looks crisp clean and polished so um my my overall impressions of the game were really bad i actually this is my second time doing this commentary on this video my first commentary really dissed the game really hard because of the bad experience that first week playing it on the ps3 but since having it on the 360 and playing it like i'm really enjoying it the one thing that i'm having a problem with on this game is the currency like I know it's supposed to be where you can just unlock weapons really quick you can unlock all the attachments and it's not you it, 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 there's not a grind that you need to do uh, to do to get these attachments but for me in Modern Warfare 2 and on all the other games that was my favorite part you know to be like okay what weapon am I gonna work on next Oh, okay you know I'll work on the the mp5k and try and get the uh, the FMJ and the, uh, the, uh, you know, you know, all the other attachments on it, on the extended mags and shit. And that was fun to me. But my favorite part was earning those camos. Like, that was my goal in Modern Warfare 2 is to get, like, as many guns as I could, uh, in fall camo. And everyone, you know, I could tell people, yeah, I got my, uh, my scar in fall camo. I got the M16. I got the FAMAS. I got the top, you know, all those cool guns in fall camo. You know, that's what I like. I like to work towards that. And in this game, you know, you can just go and you can buy every camo in, in two seconds. Like, in this game, I really wanted the AUG before it even came out. And now the AUG's such a beast of a gun. I love the AUG. It's like the new TAR-21 for me, you know. I, I picked it up. It doesn't have that. It's not, like, the best gun, but it feels like it's the most powerful. I don't, I don't know. I can't really explain it. But the AK-74U is, 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 is the champ of this game for me. And I know it's going to be, like, the, uh, the UMP in uh in modern warfare 2 but i just love throwing grip on there and steady aim and i don't look down the sights i just run through people it's my favorite thing to do as you as you see in this video i get uh i get three helicopters in this video so i'm getting constant kills um just hit fire steady aim and uh ghost man i love ghost because everyone throws up them spy planes and i suggest if uh if you want to really get get it into people's heads in this game throw on ghost marathon and 
I, I suggest not throwing a silencer on if you're constantly on the move because I notice with the silencers it doesn't really do as like there's a noticeable like damage that does not happen like in Modern Warfare 2 that's all I played with was silencers uh, because I didn't like people knowing where I was on the map and uh, the, it really didn't take away from the damage of the gun but I feel like in this game it, it does play a part so um, I suggest not having silencers on and just be constantly on the move and you can actually use those red dots on the map to get into your enemy's head so but my favorite is when they're like spy planes in the air and all the enemies they feel safe you know they feel like they can they see where all the people are on the map and they just run out and I could just sneak in behind them and take like four guys out and it's, it's a beautiful thing so uh, yeah this is the one thing about the camos and, and the attachments and just it, it's it really it, it irritates me that that uh, you can just go out and get them whenever you want you know yeah, you gotta wait to unlock the gun by levels, but I think it takes a lot of the fun out of the game, and that's why I'm not really big into the currency. Um, that's really the only problem that I'm having with the game. You know, at the very beginning when I first started playing it, that's why I'm glad I waited a whole week to actually commentate on how I feel about the game, because I really wanted to get to know it. I love, love the maps, okay? There's just a, there's like two maps that I, I can kind of stand, but you know, you know, I, I just love I love all the maps. I love how there's multiple ways to get in and out of buildings there There's only few few spots on certain maps that you can really camp hard at but like you know They did a really good job and like how to how to get through the map. I'm not big about the spawns though I know those are those are an issue, but I can work around those you know They had really messed up spawns in modern warfare 2 and after playing Halo Reach, the spawns in Halo Reach, I, I can get over the spawns, but I, I can see how it, it, it constantly keeps you in the action, I'll tell you that. You know, it's nice to have uh, cons consistent action where you know if you get killed, you're going to get right back into it. There's no running all the way around the map to get there. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is just one of my videos. I got a couple more videos that I'm going to bring out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um... Yeah, you can just see me running through with steady aim. Steady aim is where it's at. And I'm sure when uh, a lot of people are going to start to realize that steady aim is, uh, it, it, you know, I, I knew it was going to be good. Because after playing uh, World at War with the MP40 and steady aim, it just dominated. Uh, the steady aim isn't as far as it was in World at War, but it's still freaking solid. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I go 31 and 6, and there's a lot more videos to come, guys. So uh, subscribe, thumbs it up, and give me some feedback.